about to take you on a tour of my bathroom. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here, my name is Rachel Ust. Today we're doing another part of the minimalism series and I'm going to show you through my bathroom and how I like to keep it all neat and organized. A bathroom is another high traffic area. This one is something that will need constant maintenance just like the kitchen. Because I live in an apartment building, my bathroom is quite small. For example, you know how most people have the cupboards under the sink? We don't even get one of those. If you do have one of those, I would highly suggest getting some shelving or some containers to put in there to keep your things organized. But as far as I go, I don't have the luxury of that anymore. I just have cabinets above the sink. But I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a minute. So these are just going to be a few of my little tips. If you do enjoy it, I would love it so much if you'd give this video a thumbs up. And now I'm going to show you through my bathroom. While I'm giving you a quick little overview, some tips for keeping things nice and neat is to leave nothing on the benches and leave nothing on the floors. If you have a small bathroom like I have, don't keep your dirty clothes basket in here because, yeah, that won't be good. So let's start off with my cupboard. Only keep things you use regularly. If it's dusty or if you don't remember when you used it last, get rid of it. Now that's all my makeup and my brushes. Some people seem to think it's a lot, but I used to own way more. I have these little storage containers here and the ones with the lids are from Ikea. That's all my skincare products here. If you want to see how I use them, I'll link my skincare routine in the description. And the front container holds items that I use extremely regularly, so we're talking a daily basis. I think a big part of decluttering is providing structure in your storage for what you do want to keep. I just think it also looks so cute and so neat when you have everything in little containers. My tip for culling your perfume collection is to have two, one for the day and one for the night. Super simple. You may have noticed I have a big container at the back of the cupboard as well. That's actually a storage container for a fridge and I just like to pop my bathroom goods in them. Now, if I do decorate, it's usually just with candles. The concrete one I made and I have a tutorial for, and the beautiful glass ones are by an Australian brand called Villa and Stone. Now to Bo's side of the cupboard, I have another one of these trays in here for him. Our tooth things are down the bottom. I don't know why he has two toothbrushes, but anyway. Next to the counter, I have an appliance holder for my straightener, and I found this one at Big W. Now if we go across again, that's all the products that we keep in the shower, so my Purology shampoo, my conditioner and my Olaplex, a loofah thing, whatever it's called, and then body washes and Bose products, there is nothing on the floor, keep the floor clean. So some tips for making things appear visually neater include have matching towels, it'll just keep it uniform, and use microfiber cloths to clean your mirrors and taps so that way they'll stay streak free. I hope you were able to take something away from that at least and which video do you want to see next in the minimalism series? I've still got people requesting for me to do a wardrobe essentials. That is in my list of things to do. I'm still planning that one but what else would you like? And I can try and get working on it for you. If you do want to see more pictures of how I decorate my apartment, you can always find me on Instagram because I post a lot of pictures on there of my place. And if you're new, don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!